This square is called by many residents of Cairo Midan Suleiman Pasha. Although the name has been changed long time ago, and although this man standing gracefully in the middle of the square deserves to be remembered as much as the founder of Egypt's modern army, Suleiman Pasha. Talat Harb is no doubt the father of modern Egypt's economy, as he is called by many historians. With the aim of the Egyptianizing the economy, Talat Harb founded Misr Bank in April 1920, not as a commercial bank, but rather to support the industries. In the year that followed, numerous companies carrying the name of Egypt, Misr, were established. Misr for spinning and weaving. Misr for paper manufacturing. Misr for film production and a long list of more than 20 companies. فالحقيقه كان طلعت حرب علامه في تاريخ الاقتصاد المصري وفي تاريخ نهضه مصر ايضا الحديثه فبالتالي العمل طلع بمواصفات التشكيل والرمزيه والتعبيريه في عمل ناجح جدا.
The famous Egyptian monarch of the 19th century, Khedivi Ismail, dreamt of turning Cairo to Paris of the Orient. The new planning and architecture were therefore assigned to French and Italian architects. The square was part of this new and modern scheme. The statue of Suleiman Pasha was placed in its center. But after 1952, Egypt needed to honor other Egyptian figures. There was no symbol better than Talat Harp. قاعدة متناسبة جدا مع حجم العمل بساطة القاعدة في التصميم وده برضو رؤية أحيانا النحات اللي بيصمم التمثال ما هو بيشوف العمل متكامل إزاي شكل القاعدة يبقى إزاي لون القاعدة يبقى إزاي طبيعة الماتيريال أو الخامة اللي ينفذ من القاعدة الحقيقة كان موفق فتح محمود في تمثال ثلاث حرب يظل التمثال نموذج لتمثال الميدان The outstanding bronze statue is close to real size. It's made of bronze and stands on a pilaster three meters high. It's one of the memorable operas of the Egyptian sculptor Fathi Mahmoud.
تمثال فتح طلعت حرب اللي, اللي نفذه فتحي محمود تمثال فتحي محمود اللي طلعت حرب الحقيقه برضو ما انا اقول لحضرتك حاجه ان عشان انا كنحات اقوم بتنفيذ عمل انا لابد الاول اقتنص لحظات التقمص الشخصيه اللي هنفذها لازم اجمع عنه سيرته الذاتيه اقرا عنه كويس اشوف انتاجه اشوف اداؤه الحياتي اليومي عشان اقدر اعمل عمل ناجح لابد ان انا اعمل معايشه للشخصيه Talat Harp was born in the popular and authentic district of Gamaleya. No wonder he was such a nationalist, for in his youth he opened his eyes to the Urabi revolution against the British occupation. It was nothing but natural that he studied law in 1889. He got his degree in law from the Kedivial School of Law. He learned languages, worked as journalist, and wrote books about economy. Thanks to his dedication, Egypt has great economy establishments that still greatly contribute to its economy. <laughs> 